What's up guys, Mike here from Tech404, back with another video. So if you're looking for a new microphone, or you're looking for a backup microphone, or a portable one, and you're on a tight budget, and you want something decent for YouTube, this might be the microphone for you. The Samsung Go mic is the most portable USB condenser mic going, that I, I have literally haven't seen anything this portable, and the build quality is insane. So, I should mention, this whole video is being recorded off the Samsung Go mic, so let me know in the comments what you think, if it's good, if it's bad, if you've got something better, or you've got a different recommendation, let me know guys. So inside the box, let's see what we get. So this looks like a limited warranty card if you live outside of the US, so I'm in the UK, this is the uh, manual, we'll go through the few details in that later. And then we have a USB connection cable. There we are. And that's the microphone. We'll take a look at that later. And lastly, inside there, you get a card giving you the sound deck. This is a Samsung software, kind of like Audacity to uh, make your vocals sound a lot better. So here's the uh, microphone and the uh, packaging it comes in. You can see that they uh, spent a bit of money on this so here's the mic let's take it out let's have a look the mic looks to me very small so this is a spare nut i'll show you where this goes shortly and this is a cable clip there we are and the nut basically will go with the uh, microphone arms that you can pick up so the mic no bigger than three inches it's very very nice i'm very impressed i mean like for something so small the quality is fantastic yeah so this is like a metal bracket you can unclip this so on the front here you can see the microphone and you can see the uh, this is like a beveled uh, hinge so the directional uh, pattern can be anything you want on the base you've got the four rubber feet and it's like a matte finish a little bit of rubber on each of the feet which we like yeah very happy with this so here we have the dual stage grill protects the capsule and helps reduce popping yeah, the, the finish is nice as well. Uh, again, on this side, dual internal uh, shock isolation, 10mm capsules. You can get polar patterns on it. Little LED indicator light. We'll tell you what that does in a moment. So again, here's the port. You've got your 3.5 jack for the headphone. And then you've also got your USB. And then round to this side, we have the uh, 3 setting. So the most important part of picking a good microphone is the pickup. The Go mic has three options. Number one, Omni. They pick up sounds from all directions. Number two, bi-directional. This setting will pick up audio directly in front and the back of the microphone while rejecting sounds from both the left and the right. Number three will be the undirectional or cardioid, which will only pick up audio from the front of the microphone. And this uh, hole here is a threaded hole, so you can attach it to a microphone arm. So let's show you guys, so that's the thread, and we're going to mount it onto my arm, so let's just fiddle around with the camera a little bit, and see if I can get this on. So while I'm doing this, uh, let me give you a little tip. So for most vocal applications, you want to position the microphone directly in front of the artist, about 4 to 18 inches. If you are close, uh, miking, you know, doing vocals, set the microphone at a slight angle to reduce popping. There you are, helpful little tip. So there you go, this arm is mounted, it moves up and down, and the microphone is secure. So there's the power cable, left hand side, yep, yeah, left hand side of the microphone, I think it's here, there we go. Just get this in here, and yeah. So guys, there you go, I'm ready. So now to finish off my setup for my uh, microphone, I'm going to use this pop filter, which I picked up off Amazon. This is only a few bucks. Uh, it's probably uh, not the correct shape I should have used a uh, circular one but this is what I got because I thought it looked a bit better so let's just wriggle this in here now this this one that I'm using at the moment is a dual layered pop filter so you get a little bit more quality I'll hit you up with a link in the video description once I've managed to jiggle this into place so guys let me just fiddle around with this and there we are that's done so there we are so that should reduce a lot more of the popping this is a nice mesh and the microphone sits nicely behind. So guys, whether you're recording your latest YouTube video or a song or a podcast, the Go mic is perfect. The starter mic to get you going. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. The Go mic gives accurate reproductions with linear characteristics from the top to the bottom. 
uh, you know you can't really go wrong it is absolutely beautifully made that's just my opinion again so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you disliked it give it a dislike if you liked it give me a big thumbs up and let me know what you thought of the audio quality in the video be sure to uh, subscribe for more of these unboxings